What's up, what's up, and welcome to Stick It. My name is Lindsay Lee Hobson, and I'm an inspirational speaker and personal coach who started a revolution for young adults. And welcome to another hashtag Monday Motivation. I really forgot where the camera is again. Let me know where you're joining me from. Are you on Facebook? Are you on YouTube? Are you on LinkedIn? The gloriousnessnessness. <laughs> Do you like my new word? Of technology. I can see the little eyeballs as you all jump on. Thanks so much for being here today. Let me know where you're joining me from. Comment. Thank you for the love hearts. Whoever's sending me those, you know that I love love hearts so today's monday motivation i feel like that almost needs like a little interpretive dance but anyway i'm not going to go there but if you have one in mind always share it she says with hesitation thanks so much for joining me guys thank you for the likes the love hearts hey shani nice to see you again um let me know where you're joining shani's on facebook are you on linkedin or on youtube where are you watching me from so today's monday motivation I was talking to a really good friend of mine the other day and this dawned on me probably deeper than it has in the past. There is such a gravity around the persona that we're expected to fulfill as millennials and Gen Zs. You know, you see people out there, you've got almost two options. It feels like, and it's so not true. And Hey, thanks for joining me. I see all the little eyeballs on me. Let me know if you're on Facebook, LinkedIn, comment, let me know who's here with me. Would love to see who you are all are. But so you're not just a little eyeball on my screen. So you've got really two trajectories often or trajectories. I always put a P there in life often. And I am generalizing, but this is really like the really in the nuts and the guts of it, what it feels like to be a millennial and Gen Z. And then on top of it, we have COVID, world crisis. There is enough going on in the world. And yet here we are and we feel like we're stuck between choice A and choice B. And if you don't fit into either of those, and I'll tell you what they are in a moment, then what do you do? And that's the tricky thing. So choice A, get a really good job, climb up the ranks in the corporate world, You know, make sure you're head of whatever or fulfill whatever destiny that is there. Get a really good job, really good income, get married, have kids, you know, settle down do those sorts of things and bring you stability. And if I were to summarize that in one word, it would be stability. Hey, thanks for joining me. Um, it would be stability. And then you have the other option. And that, if I were to summarize it in one word, would be freedom. And it's hustle and grind, go there, out there and start a business and find some way to change the world and be the next Steve Jobs. But everything is about staying positive and hustling and getting it all done and having big goals and fulfilling it. And that is pretty much your other option, how it feels to be a millennial and Gen Z, right? I'm not saying that they are your only two options. In fact, I know they're not. My clients in the revolution know that it's not. But when you're sitting there at that point in your life and you have to make a decision because time is up, there's no more procrastinating, you can't stay in your parents' house any longer and at some stage you do need to get out of the bedroom and into the real world when you're allowed out of the house. Here in Melbourne, we're still not allowed too far out of our own homes. But when lockdown's over, you know, it's time to venture out. It's time to venture out and start building a life. For some of us, it's rebuilding. For some of us, it's building. It's starting something. But when you're stuck between that rock and hard place, what if you don't feel like you fit into both either one of the categories? What if you feel like you have traits that you want for freedom, but you also have traits that you want the stability? What do you do then? And here's the thing, right? We're all thinking that you have to pick one or the other because that's what society tells us. You know, our parents work really, really hard. Thanks for all the love. Whoever sent me the love hearts, I can see popping up. Thanks. Um, your parents work really, really hard for us, right? really hard to give us an incredible life that they want us to lead and they make huge sacrifices on our behalf they make sure that even in the country they work two jobs that they hate it's all for us and we love that and we appreciate that i am yet to meet someone who isn't fully aware of that and fully grateful if we feel that but it also means that if for example we wanted the freedom aspect of it we wanted to hustle and grind it's really hard to choose stability. It's really hard to follow our hearts and do go out and be an entrepreneur and leave that, leave, leave that sort of life. Because stability is asked of us. It can be really tricky to break the mold that's expected of us in our lives. And that's what the Stick It Revolution is all about. Now here's the thing. I've mentioned two different ways, funny that, that life can go. There aren't just two. In fact, one of my clients in the revolution 
Her name is Carly. She knows above all else that you don't have just the two options. She was choosing the stability course. She chose, before she was in the revolution, a life in retail because she liked it. She wasn't sure what else she would do. And she chose to go down that path. But that little voice inside of her just kept saying, oh, I don't know about this. There's got to be something more to this. But when she looked over to the other side of the fence, the grass wasn't necessarily greener. She didn't want to hustle. She didn't want to grind. That's not her thing. She wanted to create her own path. And here's the thing, right? Here's the secret that nobody knows. If you know that poem, you know where I got that from. It's one of my favorites. There are way more than two choices in life. In fact, there are no straight lines in nature. Why do you have to pick A or B? Because you may pick A and go, oh, hello. Stability is not for me. Why, Carly? What else can I do? It doesn't have to be the opposite. Or maybe you're like my friend Neil in South Africa, who's an entrepreneur in spirit. But there is such a thing that we have to fulfill if you feel like you're an entrepreneur. You have to be this beacon of positivity. You don't. You can be your own type of entrepreneur. You can find your own sort of freedom. But because we're millennials and Gen Zs, we don't have years and years and years of life experience. Thanks so much for you sending me the loves. I can see it. Hey, Sandy. So uh, lovely to see you. Maybe not so hard, Lindsay. Yeah, absolutely. Your unconscious mind is huge. Um, I totally forgot what I was going to say now. Yes, you don't have to pick one of those two. If you don't feel like you fit into one of those paths, there are no straight lines in nature. You can choose your own, your own unique path, just like my client Carly. Now, later this week in the Facebook group, Carly's going to come live with me and she's going to share with you behind the scenes what it's really like to forge your own path, what it's really like to break the mold in your life. Because she's did it. she did it. She's chosen her own trajectory. And it's not a straight line, it's its own unique curves and flows. And if she had expected that it had to go one particular way, she wouldn't be where she was. In fact, she'd still be working in retail, working in that stability, because that's the path she thought she'd chosen. And if you're a millennial and Gen Z for hashtag Monday Motivation, who feels like your life has to go in a particular way, Maybe you feel like you're in that fork of the road, you've got those two choices. Or maybe you picked one and it's really not resonating with you anymore because you feel like you have to be someone that you're not. Or you feel like you have to stick to it. You feel like you have to make other people proud by funneling through. But here's the thing, it is not true. In fact, by forcing yourself to live this particular life, you are giving up your life instead of doing what you love. Now, how amazing would it be to live a life filled with passion and purpose and making an impact on the world that resonated with you? That's what Carly's doing. So if you're not in the Facebook group, we're going to go live. I'm going to interview her on Wednesday morning, Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So make sure you don't put a world clock. There will be a notification in there. But make sure you join. Because if you're sitting there thinking, oh, I don't think I'm really in love with the choices I have. Thanks for all the likes. We'll be sending them through. I could see them. Let me know who's joining me today. If you feel like you're stuck, you're trapped, you have to continue on the path you are or you're not sure which path to take. My clients in the revolution have been there too. I've been there too and Carly has been there too. She's going to share with you what it's really like to be in that position and the fears and the anxiety because you are not alone. Yep, we may not have all the life experience behind us as millennials and Gen Zs, but you know what we do have? Determination, drive, courage. And we have this incredibly powerful Facebook group, which is where we're going to go and do the interview from on Wednesday. Filled with motivated and empowered millennials and Gen Zs who are finding ways to be emerging leaders in their own life. So if you're feeling like you're in that place right now, make sure you join the Facebook group. I'll put the link in the comments. Join the group. Show up when the live is on, which will be later this week. And have a conversation with other people who feel the same way. Hear what it's like to actually break free from that situation. Carly's done it. My other clients in the revolution have done it. I've done it. And Carly has said she's going to show you exactly what she did. She's going to share with you what it's like and the emotional roller coaster that goes on because it's not necessarily straightforward. There are no straight lines in nature. But you don't have to do it alone and you don't have to guess. Because if you guess, if you continue to think you'll figure it out on your own, the mistakes you will made 
you will have made, you won't even know about until it's too late. And you can completely avoid all of them. So come and join the conversation. I will put the link in the comments. No matter what platform you're on, I will link the group. Be there. Make sure you show up to the live on Wednesdays in a couple of days' time. We'll show you how it's possible for you. How Carly did it. How you can do it too. Because if she can do it, if my clients can do it, if I can do it, then you can too. It's completely possible. So hashtag Monday Motivation. Be kind to yourself. Remember that you don't have to have it all figured out. It's okay to life to look different to the way that you thought it should or the way you're being told it should be. And if you want to find out how, be part of the conversation. Join that Facebook group. I cannot wait to see you there. And most importantly, guys, between now and then, I'm going to disappear off the screen. <laughs> I think there we go. Technical issues. Between now and then, guys, remember to stick it.